Imagine this. You're juggling a million ideas for your next project, but they're all scattered in your head. You grab a notebook and start sketching, but it quickly turns into a mess of scribbles and crossed out words. Frustrating, right? Now, what if I told you there's a tool that could take all that chaos and instantly organize it into a clear professional mind map? In this video, we're diving into how AI can transform your brainstorming process from overwhelming to effortless. Let's dive in. To show you how powerful AI can be for mind mapping, let's dive into eDrawMind. Okay, so the first question you might have is, what the heck is eDrawMind? Well, eDrawMind is this super easy to use app for making mind maps, those cool diagrams that help you organize your thoughts and stuff. The best part? It works on pretty much any device you've got, Windows, Mac, Linux, and even smartphones. And if you don't want to download anything, you can just use it in your web browser. You can make different mind maps to keep track of your ideas, take notes, or just brainstorm. And it's not complicated. Even if you're not great with tech, you'll probably figure it out pretty quickly. I will put the link in the description. Just download the app or use the online version. This is the eDraw Mind interface. On the home page, you will find a variety of mind map templates, including examination basics, education, advanced education, conference plans, project plans, IT, and analysis. On the right-hand side, you will find some amazing new features such as one-click mind map generation, one-click mind map to slide conversion, multi-format to slide, and many more. Okay, let me show you how to create a mind map from scratch. Just click here at the top, and here you've got basically your mind map skeleton. As soon as you create the mind map, you can see this toolbar popping up. You can use it for quick customization like changing fonts, block shapes, borders, layouts, and more. You can easily move your mind map around, and if you want to edit the text in boxes, just double click on it and change it. So you can already see that editing and modifying your mind map is very easy and pretty intuitive. If you want to connect one element of the mind map with another, you can use this relationship tool. Very easy, too. However, at the start of the video, I tell you that you can create a mind map using AI. Now I will demonstrate how you can create a full-fledged mind map using AI. To do that, come to the home page and then to the right side panel. Now we have to enter our topic in the one sentence mind map generation option and then enter our idea. For example, I am typing a psychological thriller novel. You can see it has started creating a mind map based on our command. And here it is. The mind map is ready. Honestly, this is a perfect mind map for a novel. It provides all the key elements for a psycho thriller novel, including concept, plot structure, character development, theme, settings, and others. I love it. Now you can customize the mind map as per your need. If you click on any text block, you will find options to change the text font, size, and other text settings. You can change the shape, the fill color, and add a border to the block. Next, in the layout setting, you can change the layout of your mind map. Here you will find a bunch of options. These are the logic map templates. If you click any one from here, you will notice the changes in your mind map. In the same way, you can change your mind map to a tree map, timeline, org chart, fishbone, tree table, and others. That's amazing. So, now you don't need to spend hours creating different types of mind maps. Next, with the branch option, you can customize the branch type of your map. You can change the connector color with the connector option. If I click on the generate icon, here you have several options. You can also adjust the length, enhance the topic content, or simplify the topic content. Here you will find a very interesting feature called Translate. With this feature, you can translate your mind map into other languages. After coming there, you have to just select the preferred language. As I selected German, you can see the map is now translating into German. And here it is, now our mind map is in the German language. I am coming back to the English version. In this method, you can create any kind of mind map. For example, this is another mind map about project plans. Okay, now to preview your mind map in a full screen view click here. You will find several layout options, and you can choose the one that suits your preference. You can also change the theme with various options available in both light and dark modes. Okay, let's come back to the previous mind map. Now, alright next, 
Here you can see the outline of the map. It allows users to view and structure their mind maps in a linear, text-based format. This enables you to concentrate on the overall organization and progress of your content, making it easier to organize complex information in a structured manner. Next, this is the Kanban view. And in the end, here you will find the Slides view. With this feature, you can actually convert your mind map into a PowerPoint presentation slide. To do that, simply click on the Convert to Slide. It will generate the outline. Once done, click here to choose a template. Here you will find a bunch of template options. Preview some of them and then choose the best one, and then hit the Generate PPT button from here. After waiting some time, you will get the PPT version of your mind map. This is just amazing. eDrawMind did a great job. So, now you can convert your AI-generated mind map to a PPT presentation. There's a whole bunch of other creative ways to use eDrawMind AI too. Here, you can generate your own images to add to your mind map blocks or customize your canvas. You can also extract data from images and add it to your mind map, all in a single click. You can actually use all kinds of documents, for example, PDF files. You can easily transform static mind maps into dynamic, visually engaging presentations by using the pitch mode. To be honest, after playing with the eDrawMind software, I feel like there's nothing it can't do. The only downside I see is that you can get stuck in it, tweaking and customizing every little detail about your mind maps. It's that addictive. So don't forget to try out this tool. The link will be in the description. All right, friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear about your experience with creating a mind map with AI. Share your thoughts and results in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy creating.